Hi, I'm Eric Lanask with TMC. We are here at the Jacob Javits Center in New York at Cloud Expo, and I'm talking today with Layer 7's Rob Conti. Rob, welcome, good morning. Good morning, how are we doing today? Doing great, thank you. Uh, so, we're here at Cloud Expo. Yes. What are some of the latest trends, latest challenges that uh, Layer 7's seeing with regards to uh, cloud? You know, so I, I think some of the latest challenges um, that we're talking to a lot of our customers with, providing a lot of great enterprise solutions, you know, for, you know, companies that are looking to, you know, open up their enterprises in a secure, you know, manner using, you know, some modern technologies uh, and approaches such as APIs and, and REST. So we provide, you know, a comprehensive set of solutions to allow enterprises to securely connect and expose data uh, in various formats, uh, various technologies, again, in a very secure, you know, manageable and efficient way. Are you seeing more attention being given or, or more interest in hybrid scenarios as opposed to an all or nothing? Yeah, we're definitely seeing a lot of hybrid scenarios where companies have on-premise applications where they're using layer seven um, to not only securely integrate those applications and expose those applications, uh, maybe using APIs to maybe mobility channels, existing web channels, or maybe even partner or developer channels, but they're also in a very you know, transparent, but again, secure way, you know, taking some of the data sets and some of the consumers that may reside on premise and allow them to unlock you know, some of the digital assets that may be you know, resident in an external cloud. So you've mentioned security a few times. How does a hybrid cloud infrastructure change what folks have to do with security? Yeah, so I think it, it, it changes the, the landscape quite a bit. So you, you have now, internal to external identities that you need to manage, right? So there's an authentication challenge there, there's an authorization challenge, and Layer 7 can provide you know, an abundance of solutions in that space, right? So be able to manage those identities, be able to enforce, you know, from a runtime perspective, the authentication, the authorization uh, of those internal consumers that are then calling out to those hybrid you know, assets that are resident in that, um, that remote cloud. Uh, and also from an application or API you know, threat protection, you know, being able to introspect you know, data that's leaving you know, an enterprise and also data that's coming in to the enterprise all within the context of hybrid cloud access. And so that's where you know, Layer 7 can add additional value you know, by sitting in the line of traffic, again, in a very transparent way, you know, not imposing any you know, performance, you know, latency, uh, you know, restrictions, constraints you know, on, the, on the transactions, but at the same time, um, you know, giving enterprises a higher degree of confidence that you know, their internal and external transactions are secure. How exactly does Layer 7 fit into the cloud infrastructure? Yeah, so Layer 7 can, can fit in the cloud infrastructure in a, in a variety of ways. Um, so you know, we talked about hybrid cloud, so we, ena we enable enterprises to participate uh, and erect an, a hybrid cloud uh, architecture, we do have a lot of customers you know, that are putting specific workloads in a cloud today, whether they be production workloads, uh, QA workloads, you know, UAT you know, workloads, and we have, um, we have instances of our technology that are certified you know, for various cloud environments. So we can actually sit you know, in a co-resident you know, way up in a cloud, and again, provide those, those capabilities around you know, security, you know, integration, you know, and, and connectivity. Are there particular vertical markets you're seeing more interest from? Yeah, I mean, we've had, we have success you know, in, in all industries and in all verticals. Uh, you know, I think lately with the explosion of API management, um, I think we're, we're talking to a lot of telcos you know, nowadays, a lot of pharma you know, companies. You know, they're looking to unlock you know, some of their data you know, in a secure way using you know, APIs as a means to do so. And you know, each of those industries have you know, tight you know, regulations, you know, and compliances that they need to attest to, and so, you know, Layer 7 can provide some of those, um, you know, compliant, you know, secure, you know, capabilities to allow those different industries there to expose data in a very secure manner. Do you see uh, hybrid cloud becoming more the de facto uh, situation? I think we're definitely seeing a trend, right? I, I think we're definitely seeing, you know, more and more interest in hybrid clouds. Um, you know, some people are a little bit more up to speed on, you know, how they can leverage it, you know, what are some of the benefits it can provide? You know, the good thing is that you know we can um, provide an exceptional amount of, of security and integration. You know, for anyone that wants to participate in a hybrid cloud architecture. We've always talked about uh, security. You've mentioned it a few yeah. times. With that goes uh, hand in hand, right. uh, trust. Are we past the point where folks don't trust the cloud? You know, 
I, I think things have evolved, you know, quite a bit, you know, over the last, you know, 12 to 24 months. Um, I think, you know, solutions by, you know, Layer 7 now, you know, CA Technologies, I think, have helped, you know, ease and quell some of those concerns, uh, specifically from a security, you know, perspective. So again, the accessibility, being able to, you know, route, like I mentioned earlier, those on-premise emanated transactions to, let's say, a remote cloud to again participate in that in that hybrid cloud environment. And so, you know, having that higher degree of confidence from a, you know, authentication, authorization, you know, threat protection, you know, measure, I think again helps quell some of those concerns. I think helps lower the, the barrier of adoption when it comes to to hybrid clouds. But I still think there are, you know, a, a select number of folks that uh, still need a little bit more you know, confidence from a security perspective before they start to put, um, you know, more workloads in that hybrid cloud environment. How does the industry, including layer seven, build that confidence? Yeah, again, I, I think it's providing, you know, enterprise grade solutions and something that we've been doing for the last, uh, you know, decade or so. Um, you know, we've been built, you know, for hostile environments. Um, you know, we support a wide range of, of, of standards, a lot of modern, you know, standards and, and technologies, anywhere from, you know, OAuth and, and OpenID Connect um, that are very, very relevant, you know, from a delegated authorization, you know, perspective, especially for, uh, you know, the mobile channel that, you know, as we all know, is exploding out there. So, you know, I think, you know, we can help in a variety of ways. Uh, and we've been doing it for, you know, 10 plus years and we've got, um, you know, we've got a great, you know, list of, of, of customers to, um, uh, you know, that depend on Layer 7 technology. Excellent, well Rob, thanks for joining me. We're here at uh, Cloud Expo in New York. Check out all of the TMC videos from Cloud Expo in the TMC Video Newsroom.